I know that being stopped out can seem scary and it can seem like maybe you did something wrong and maybe it was your fault, but it's not always your fault. So this is my first stop out on AUD CAD in a while. And as a matter of fact, I've been having some pretty good trades since the beginning of June on AUD CAD. If you've been following me on this journey, then you know how I was able to catch a really beautiful pound CAD trade back here in the beginning of June and was able to write it down to take profits. And price made a new low here. And I was hoping that uh, price could continue to go down after it made this bearish candlestick yesterday. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the stop out. Number one, I think when it comes to being stopped out, the first thing you want to make sure is that you followed all of your rules before you blame yourself for the stop out. Because as a matter of fact, I only have one rule to being stopped out and that is price has to reverse. So I think it's important that when you set your parameters for where you place your stop loss, you make sure it's telling you to do something after you're stopped out. For me, it says stop trading in this particular direction and start to trade the opposite side. So I've been selling, now I may be the buyer. And now that goes into what I'm gonna tell you guys next is that I teach roadmap strategy. And this is basically saying follow up on the currency pair and see where it can go next. So with that being said, since I'm stopped out of this position, my old zone no longer matters. I have my new zone here now, and now I'm looking to see on both time frames, my daily and my weekly time frame. Now I'm looking to see where does price want to go next if I want to become involved, and if I become involved, what does that look like? So now that price has made a new high above 89 cents, now if price were to pull back to my new estimation zone above 87 cents because now this is me saying the sellers no longer have control the buyers have control since i believe that the buyers have control now i want to see where can the buyers go next so if price pulls back to my estimation zone i could take a buy to my next estimation zone which is based on the weekly time frame if you come over here to the weekly time frame you guys can see how now i'm gonna deem this as the new lower low here OK, on the weekly. So now you see that it's showing on my weekly and it's showing on my daily time frame. And in fact, I'm going to clean my chart because I don't like too much clutter. So now I'm only going to focus on this low here. OK, and I want price to go back to that low immediately. Um, but what I do want it to go back to is um, just to come back to see if it could test it again to go back up. Now, where do I believe price could go to next? Well, I believe that it could come and stay below 0.91476 before potentially dropping again. Because if you look at it, price is actually in a downtrend on AUD CAD. And so if we just show the evidence of it, you have 0 0.89, 0 0.91, 0 0.87. So what you will be trading if you take a buy is a counter. Now, this goes into asking yourself if you are the counter trend trader. For me, I will counter this. I will only take one position. But the thing about it is I have to ask myself, do I want to counter against this weekly trend? More than likely, probably so, maybe not. Because this really has been a strong downtrend for us um, for half of 2022. And so I don't know if I want, would want to counter against this. I think I would want to go find other pairs that are maybe trending still, but a lot of currency pairs have just reversed. Uh, we've seen a reversal on AUD USD. We've seen a reversal on New Zealand dollar cap. And so I don't know if I want to play the counter game just so yet. But if I did, because most of these reversals are here, I would just take one position going up and then see if we could stay below uh, 0 0.91476 on this pair. As a matter of fact, there is another currency pair in the CAD deck that has done this same thing. And this is actually New Zealand dollar CAD. So let's take a look at New Zealand dollar CAD. Now, when it comes to New Zealand dollar CAD, um, you guys can see how the last lower high was at 80, uh, 0.8602. The last lower low was at 0 0.79073. Now, what price did was it came and it did test the 79 cent range by testing this candlestick right here. And price did go up um, and price made a new high yesterday, as a matter of fact. And now it's just following suit. 
So this is something that could have been a really good potential trade if there was a nice one-to-one. -one. This was something that I did not trade to the downside. I wanted to take a manual order, but I couldn't take a manual order because we made a new high yesterday. This is something that I did not counter because we're so close to this estimation zone. But if you look at it, the weekly is still in a downtrend as well. So this is something that I would not want to counter because we are still in a downtrend and price is heading up towards the, the weekly lower high for a potential another sale, okay? So stop out of this position on AUD CAD for 0.50%. Uh, I did not go in at a full percent. I took two positions, so 0 0.25, 0 0.25 each. So that's only 0.5% of my account gone. It's not me risking blowing my account, not me taking some outrageous percentage just to say I made money because I don't want to lose money that I have to fight and struggle to gain again, right? And so just trying to manage my risk as best as I can. Now what I'm doing is once again, my roadmap strategy is looking to see where price can go next and if I wanna be involved on where it can go next or if I need to sit on my hands. I know that being stopped out can seem scary and it can seem like maybe you did something wrong and maybe it was your fault, but it's not always your fault. Once again, set a parameter that says, if you're stopped out, then what? Then what's next? And for me, it's saying that price has reversed. And for you, it could be saying something else. And what is that? Explore it. And that's the way I like to set up stop losses. And maybe you should try that as well too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and this tip on how stop losses can actually tell you that price is reversing. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. You guys be blessed.